Ah, Mrs Norris, thank you for coming. I've received the results of the DNA test and there's good news and bad news. Just tell me my baby's healthy. Well, as you know, we were testing for certain genes which can lead to an increased risk of spinal disorder. The good news is the foetus has none of those genes. Oh, thank goodness. So my little Johnny's going to be OK? No, I wouldn't go that far. In the course of testing, we did discover one gene which can have quite serious consequences. I'm sorry, there's no easy way of saying this. Your baby's going to be a twat. No. It's a hereditary condition. Is there any history of twats in your family? Well, I suppose my Uncle Brendan's a massive racist. But what does it mean, Doctor? Is there no hope for my little Johnny? I'm afraid not. All we can do now is prepare for the inevitable. By the age of ten, your son will be giving his classmates wedges and sticking their heads down the toilet. At fifteen, he'll be talking endlessly about how big his cock is. By twenty, there's an eighty percent chance he'll think Jeremy Clarkson is hilarious and has some really sensible views. No. I'm sorry, I know this is difficult to hear. Doctor, tell me honestly, is there a chance he'll read the Daily Mail? I'm afraid there's every chance. Look, Mrs Norris, you're still in your first trimester. That means you have the option to terminate. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. I shall raise my little Johnny, and I shall love him as much as any boy, despite his condition. Well, as long as you're sure. But just so you're aware, in three quarters of these cases, the child grows up to support UKIP. Oh, in that case, abort the little twat. <laughs>